know for sure it'll come out now. <laughs> Has a different style top to it. I only haven't seen this style on one of these yet. I'm going to have a lid for one of these, so I'll take it. Alright, I got a little mud here. And it is wedged in there tightly for some reason. Thought it hurt embossing. Because when I scraped, I heard it embossing, so it's embossed at least. But, it was this particular bottle. Dr. Pitcher's Castoria. But there's something else in here. This one's amber. It's a beer. It's a blob beer. Is it an embossed one though? Oh, yep. It is. It's a weed man from Newport, Kentucky. Alright guys, I got something here that's larger. And it's broke now. But what was it? Oh, of course, this is probably going to be something. Boss, that's good. It's an M.O. Mink. Yeah, the boss one that has a big slug plate has to be broke. While the slicks and common low value blobs are all whole. Oh well, maybe I'll get lucky and get one. Day's not over yet. Alright guys, have a large bottle here. And it is a big old whiskey. So it's a beer, but oh well. If it's the whiskey, it's likely to be a big old slick or something. Right here comes. It's a dot base, so it's probably a slick. Could be an applied top one, but that doesn't really make a difference. Yeah, I can't tell. Well, this stuff's starting to peel here, so I'm going to be careful in getting this one out. It looks like a stupid uh, 1900-ish flask thing. It's probably slick. Yep. And it's broken. It's got a champagne-style blob sticking out. As you can see, it has that champagne shape to it, which is a good thing because most of the ones that are champagne style are embossed in this dump. So let's see what it is here. I'm going to have to claw around it some more. It's in there good. But that's a good thing because that means it's probably whole. Alright, I'm going to see if this live video will work. I'm going to try to do a live dig here for you guys. Alright. I hope nothing falls down. So my thumb is going. Okay, that's coming out. Is this actually slick? Holy crap. This is actually a slick. I cannot believe this. That's like only the second champagne blob I've ever dug got slick. That's a quart size anyway. I can't believe it.
All right, guys, there's something here. Probably just a tooled strap side flask that's slick or something. I don't know how I didn't call this because I should have been able to call it. It's an easy still polish because I find these here every time I dig just about. But the good thing is I was running low on them because he sells so good. Easy five dollars. They're common but people love them because they're covered in embossing. Pool's getting really scary again. It's peeling an awful lot. Don't really want to be down there right now. I'm kind of surprised this section here hasn't caved in the X old holes right there. So that's like a really thin wall. Should be coming down any time. It'd be nice if it was a massive cave and it just kept caving all the way back to that cement chunk there, and that cement chunk fell all the way down the hole, so I don't have to look at it. Alright guys, I see a massive cave-in happening right now. That's the hole now. And this whole thing's about to go. Look at this. It's going to fill the hole most of the way up. It's cracking way far back. It's almost the cement chunk. It's just before it. If it does, I might try to dig under the cement chunk until it caves in. Part of it caved in, but not all of it. It's cracking right there under the root, so it's far back. Alright, just watching it cave slowly. Plastic water bottle there, so someone dug that far down at one point. I'm hearing stuff move all the way up there now, it seems. Maybe it will go past the cement chunk. If it does, I'll be a crazy cave -in. Okay, this is even bigger than I thought. I'm hearing leaves actually move and seeing stuff roll way up there. I'm going to try to get this on film for you guys if this happens like I hope it does. This whole entire thing could just go down. This hole's actually caving in really slowly. Now that's what I was hoping would happen.